Hi everyone, I'm Doug from Now TV, and I'm joined by Sky Sports NFL expert Jeff Reinbold, who has uh, agreed to ask a few questions from us ahead of the Super Bowl and what should be the end of a thrilling season of NFL. Um, so, the main question, putting you on the spot immediately, who's going to win <laughs> Super Bowl 50? And I don't want any sitting on the fence. I won't sit on the fence. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say the Arizona Cardinals are. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit with my heart, but a little bit with my head too. Who is going to join them? So it's Patriots versus Broncos this weekend. Can Broncos yeah, I, I surprise? Think, you know, they can, Doug, but I really think it's going to be difficult. I just don't know if Manning has enough in his arm left anymore. Mm -hmm. And Belichick is such a master of taking away what you, what you do best. And if all they can do is run, he'll load the box and have more there than they can block and force Pey Peyton to try and throw the ball. So I think it'll be a New England and, and uh, Arizona Cardinal Super Bowl. And, okay, so you talked about the kind of health of the New England team. Mm -hmm. Those injuries clearing up. Uh, if, if they're absolutely fully fit, do you think they can still give the Panthers a game in the Super Bowl, if, if you're saying that's going to be the Yeah, I mean, the I, I, I think when you get to this point right now, the, the key position, obviously, is quarterback. You've got to have great quarterback play. So you've got Carson Palmer and, you know, Cam Newton in one game. And that's the battle of two Heisman Trophy winners. Heisman Trophy is the award that's given annually in, in America to the best college football player. It's the first time in the history of the NFL playoffs where, where two winners of that game will, will play against each other. The other side, you've got Brady, who's as good as there is and still has a lot of game left, and the kind of aging gunfighter that's got maybe one more bullet left in his chamber. And so it, whatever quarterback gets hot, you know, they can take their team right to the championship. Okay, well, you mentioned Cam Newton. He's had an unbelievable season. Do you think that as the games get bigger and more important, he might get worked out? Because obviously he's been outstanding. So no, well. you know what? I think that's kind of – he thrives on the big moments. If you, if you know his career, when he was in college at Auburn, he took an Auburn team that, you know, was very average two years before he got there and made him a national champion. What I would worry about with Cam Newton is maybe trying to do in a big game, trying to do too much and not, you know – understand that he's got other guys on the football team that can help him win too. Talking about the Panthers, obviously they've had an outstanding year this year, but they've kind of not been as consistent in recent years. Is, is Cam the main reason for that, or is there other factors? Well, I think there's a number of things. It's always a combination of factors. Number one, they've got continuity on their coaching staff. You know, they, they made a decision three years ago after, a, I think, a 6-10 and 10 season to keep Ron Rivera, not fire him, which I thought was a good decision. Then they brought in a general manager by the name of Dave Gettleman who had help put together the Giants Super Bowl winning teams. Then you draft Cam Newton and it's just kind of a process of getting better and now I think they're as you know as as good as any team in football. Okay, so they play the Cardinals. They've never been to um, they've never won the Super Bowl before and have only made it once. Uh, how have they managed to improve this time around? What's do you think could have the secret ingredient this time? Well Carolina or or, or Arizona? Uh, Arizona. Arizona I think really is is uh, you got to look at their head coach Bruce Arians. He's got an old staff Doug. As a matter of fact he's got a guy that is so old. Now this is Super Bowl 50 right? He has one of his coaches coached in the first Super Bowl game. That's how old his staff is. So wow. he's got great experience. They're, they've seen everything, done everything, been everywhere. There's nothing that surprises them. Only one team the Patriots have defended this century. Why is it so hard to win back-to-back -back Well, Super Bowl? the way our league is structured, the way the National Football League is structured, is unlike, unlike the Premiership, where basically if you win one year, there's, you know, there's, you're not basically penalized for winning. In the National Football League, the way the rules work is that if you finish first, then you play the hardest schedule the next year. If you finish first, then you get the lowest draft pick order. If you finish first, they do everything that they can to bring you back to the rest of the pack. And that's why it's so hard now to defend in free agency. We have a salary cap in the National Football League. So unlike the big premiership clubs, Man City, Man U, you know, Arsenal, Chelsea, that can go out and just buy whatever player they want. In the National Football League, Green Bay, which is in a city of 200,000 people and is publicly owned, can spend just as much money as the New York Giants that are owned by the Wellington Mara family and, and have more money than where they print it. You mentioned draft picks. Is there anyone for next year you should be looking forward to? Who's your top three? I tell you, you know what? I think there's some really good players in this draft. There's, you know, everybody wants to talk about quarterbacks all the time. I think there are three young quarterbacks in this draft that have a chance to be first-round draft choices. I think the best player in the draft 
is a kid named Tunsil from Ole Miss. He's an offensive lineman, and there are a number of teams that need offensive linemen. Who's best place to rise through the ranks next year and make a surprise? Well, you know, it's interesting. That's a really good question because there were a couple teams this year that disappointed, you know, that, that people thought were going to be better than they were. The Eagles is, is one that you, jumps out at you. They've got some pretty good talent. I just think that Cincinnati, for example, if they can – somehow get control of their tempers and, and you know, not, not uh, lose games because they, they get too emotional. They're as good a football team talent-wise as there is in the National Football League. So. At the weekend, we saw the Packers lose in overtime. A few of my mm -hmm. friends, one in particular, isn't quite enamored with the overtime rule. Obviously, you get possession and then you, you get one right. chance that you can right. just win the game. What, what, do you, what do you think of it? Yeah, I, I, agree. I would agree with your friend. I, you know, again, I think the college system that's used where – you get the ball at the 35-yard line going in, and if you s score, then the opponent gets the ball at the, thir the other 35-yard line and goes in and has the opportunity to mm -hmm. tie you, and then it goes on until there's a, you, def you know, define a winner. I think that's a much more equitable way to decide because both of those teams had played their hearts out for mm -hmm. 60 minutes, and then Arizona gets the ball, gets possession, and, and wins the game, and Green Bay has no opportunity to even try and match the score. Yeah, that's what he said. He was very upset. Um, and then just talk about the NFL in the UK. It continues to go from strength to strength. Do you think I'll continue? And Yeah, I do. I really do. You know, I've been over here. I first came over here in 1994 and, and uh, was involved in NFL Europe. And, you know, that was there was a London Monarchs team at that time and Scottish Claymores. And the games uh, have been a tremendous success. I mean, a huge success. And it's interesting, Doug, because I sit on the other side of the ocean, you know, most of the year. And I listen to this, you know, when they first said they were going to play games in England. You could hear the laughter from around the country. And then, and, and then people were like, whoa, those people really do understand. I mean, there are a passionate, passionate group of NFL fans. We, Neil, Neil uh, Reynolds and I go on the road uh, and, and take our podcast on the road, and we have had an unbelievable, unbelievable support. Well... Thank you very much, Jeff. That's My pleasure. Uh, all we've got time for. But uh, just a reminder, you can watch the AFC and NFC Championship games and the Super Bowl. Who are you picking, Doug? Oh, you had to do this right at the end. No, no I'm not, I'm not going to let you off the hook now. I want to see who you're picking. I'm biased towards the Patriots, as I imagine a lot of English people are because of the New England thing. <laughs> so I think, I think Patriots or Panthers. But I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Patriots. You think that bunch of colonists can, can pull that off? I think they can do anything. <laughs> as long as they have, you know... With, careful with the rules. We'll keep that. We might edit that bit out. Uh, but yeah, just remind you, you can watch the AFC and NFC Championship games on Now TV with the Sky Sports Day, Week, or Month Pass. Bye-bye.